Welcome back to the channel folks, Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time coming across the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up or a comment below would be really appreciated. So, two pieces of big, big news has emerged in the last hour. First of all, the one that I've been talking about for nearly seven weeks now. Days in, made it. The deal is done. The deal is done. Sources in Japan said... The deal is done. Celtic and Yokohama Marinos have come to a deal. It's a long move until the summer and the fee will be 1.68 million. Cheaper than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be 3 million. So we're getting the 24 year old Japanese international. 24 goals last season. 6 assists in 36 games. He's represented Japan 3 times at senior level. And represent them in the Olympics as well. What a player we're going to be getting. 5 foot 8 powerhouse. He got the Samurai Golden Boo. Last season in the J League. Unfortunately Yokohama. Didn't win the league. The J League. But he's over the line. It's the first of hopefully these three signs from Japan. Hopefully Itaguchi sorted soon. And Hate sorted soon. Because he's in London. He's done his medical. And should be announced tomorrow from Celtic FC that the deal has been confirmed and he will join the club in the 1st of January. The 1st of January, which is a couple of days away. He can train, get used to the scenery, get used to the culture. I'm sure Koyogo will set them in. He'll have a Japanese um, translator as well there to help him. So I'm looking forward to getting made in the door. About time. I don't know what number short he's going to wear, but we do know that we have a striker. It could be a case that Celtic haven't got this deal over the line with the, with the offer of 1.68 million because they're holding off to clear out in the summer. Get rid of EA, get rid of Griffiths, but he's going to join Celtic on loan, at least, and I'm delighted. And the other big news is Chris Virgilian will be back after this break. He's had five setbacks and Ange just came out and said to the media that it's going to be like, it's going to be like signing a new player. We need his experience. He's 28 years of age and he's going to play a crucial part of the second half of the season. I am excited to get Julian back. I have came out so many, so many times and been disappointed that he's had so many setbacks, but we need him. We need him. Him and Carter Vickers. My God, that, that two at the back. Them two in the centre back position, they're gonna start. They're gonna help us win the league. They're gonna be clean sheets with Joe Hart and Ralston and Scales on the left. I'm telling you, this is gonna be a big one. Or even Jovanovic on the left. This is gonna be exciting times. So Julian will be back after the break, which is the, our next game is on the 17th of January against Hibs. I'm excited. I'm excited about the news tonight. I know a couple of YouTube channels have already. Put it up, but look at I've been doing other videos as you've seen. Talk about the parks bus, talk about Hatay earlier on, talk about Al Albert Gunnison. So, folks, check out the channel. Just to recap, Days of Made It will be joining Celtic on the 1st of January. It's a loan deal, six months from Yokohama Marinos and his former club. He's a 24 year old, 24 goals. Six assists, 36 appearances as a Japanese international, and he's five for eight. So speech is all soon. I'm delighted with Julian. He's getting there, and we're gonna have a we're gonna have a new player again. So speech is all soon, and please subscribe to the channel. W E Dafty, hell hell.